Let's talk about fire extinguishers when it comes to self-defense and also when it comes to safety. I'm gonna tell you a funny story that a buddy of mine just told me about fire extinguishers in college. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer. My mission in life is to make you and your family safer and more protected in the crazy and unpredictable world that we live in. So fire extinguishers. Obviously, we know we should have them, right? And actually, I want to tell you that story first. So a buddy of mine, I said, hey, I'm going to do a, a video on fire extinguishers. He said, when I was in college, I was in track. And he said, one night, a friend of his got a little too drunk, stole the fire extinguisher out of their dorm room, which set off the fire alarm. So my buddy says he wakes up because the alarm's going off. You know, it wakes up in the middle of the night. And he says, very shortly after the alarm goes off, there is pounding on his dorm room door. So he pops open the door, and his buddy's sitting there with a the fire extinguisher and gives him a good spray. College, awesome. That's what friends are for good times. I do miss college. I had a lot of fun. But let's get back to the point of this video. We know we should have fire extinguishers. We know we should have them on every level of our house, which I do. So of course I have them underneath the kitchen sink. I have them in our upper level. I have them in our basement because I've had two friends of mine whose houses have had serious fires. One lived in Alabama and still lives in Alabama and one lives in Arizona. So clearly, even though we always think it's never going to happen to me, it has happened to two close friends of mine. So you got to have fire extinguishers in your house. And then of course they can also be used for self-defense. Just imagine how not good it would feel if somebody rammed you in the face with this, if some attacker was coming at you and you gave them a good crack to the skull with this. Of course, you can also throw it. So if somebody's coming at you and you're standing at the top of the stairs, you can toss this at them. But if you toss it, you need to have something else to go to. You need to have another weapon. So if I were to toss this, boom, I could transition to my gun, come out. I could transition to my knife or do whatever I need to do, even though I just made a, a gun move with my knife. You can see how much I've been dry firing this morning. The point is, is if if you are going to use it as a projectile, you've got to have another backup weapon. That's going to distract them. That's going to slow them down, but you better be able to grab something else. These particular fire extinguishers here, and I'm going to grab this one that I just tossed. A friend of mine is doing construction on a new house, and he says, as I was cleaning out this house, which apparently was a dump, he found these three fire extinguishers. I have no idea if they actually work. I have no idea how old they are, but we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see if these work. Also, I'm going to put on my sunglasses just in case something goes horribly wrong. And I'm putting on my sunglasses, excuse me, that I absolutely hate. These are white sunglasses. I hate white frame sunglasses because they look like hipster and trendy and fashionable and that's the last thing I ever want to be. Usually I have black sunglasses. However, my black sunglasses I lost, which really means one of my six kids took them and they vanished somewhere in our house and I happened to grab these because I needed sunglasses. So somebody sent me some good, comfortable black sunglasses. All right, let's start with this one. This one uh, says it might have something on it. I'm trying to see if uh, it even has a maker on it. Well, this pin looks like it's broken. All right, I'm supposed to be able to pull this pin. Oh, I did get the pin out. All right, let's see if this one works at all. Oh yeah, this one works good. I'm not gonna point it towards the camera because I don't think me, uh, my camera team would appreciate that. But if you're not stabbing somebody in the face, if you're not ramming somebody in the face, you could use this, of course, also to slow them down. So this is not gonna feel very good. It's gonna distract them. They're gonna cover their eyes. Let me go over here so you can get a different angle of me shooting this. <laughs> Here's an important point I want to make about this. If you were using this to stop an attack or to stop someone, so you come out like this, you give it some sprays, right? Remember, that is a temporary stoppage, meaning if they're getting sprayed in the face with this, they're obviously going to protect their face. They're going to be stalled for a moment, but it's not going to kill them. It's not going to slow them down in the long term. So if you come out and you hit them with some sprays in the face, the moment they're protecting their face and covering, that's when you're going up to do more damage. That's when you're going up and ramming them with this in the face. Obviously, if it's justified. Or once you spray, that's when you're going up and you're pummeling them. So that is a good distraction, but it's not an end all. So don't just sit there and be like, okay, bad guy's down. I'm just going to twiddle my thumbs now. No, as soon as you hit that and he's covering his face, you go up to him, you do more damage to make sure that attacker can't come after you. So good news is this works. We know it works. Throw it on the ground. Let's check out this one. And let's go to this one. Let's go to the red one. All right, let me pull this pin here. See if our red one works. I don't want to lose that pin. So, all right, it works too. 
which is good. I did not have any volunteers, shocker, who wanted to come here and let me spray them in the face with this stuff. And I would use this as a last resort when it comes to self-defense, meaning I'm a gun guy. I would have a gun. I would have a knife. I would have something. But if you said or you knew somebody who was terribly afraid of guns, was afraid of weapons, then sure, this could be a stopper again. You could use this to spray, then hit with it, and then escape, get out of there, call 911, get to safety. Very last one we have here. Oh, it works too. I think I just spray myself somehow. All right. So yes, now you can see, we'll see, maybe we'll see how much this one has in it before it runs out. As I'm gonna be covered. All right, that one didn't last very long. That didn't have a lot. All right, tastes like chicken. Get yourself a fire extinguisher. I hope you never need it for a fire. I hope you never need it for self-defense, but obviously it's a good form of insurance that we should have and hopefully never use. I am former CIA officer Jason Hansen. I would truly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna know more safety survival secrets could absolutely protect your family, click on the link below. Have a wonderful rest of the day and God bless you.